everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Josie. Today I'm showing you my finished race car junk journal. Now I am going to add some more things to it. So I can't say it's 100% finished, but basically it is. I just will be adding a few more things. But let me lower the camera and show you what I have. Now, the reason why it's taken me so long, I will be real honest. I uh, This is decoposed. And when you decoposed the cover, you cannot sew or punch holes for the spine. You have to use bands. And I did cover the bands, but the person who was interested in buying this did not like the bands. So I completely tore the other one apart. I tried it a different way and I didn't like it. So I tore it apart and remade it. And actually this one is larger. But when it's decoupage, it's very firm. So you can't sew it. Anyway, let me show you what I've done. And I will be adding more pages. On, before I get started, a lot of the material that I used is from this book. It's called Race of the Century. What I love about this book, it gives you permission to reprint the pictures. And it says the author great gratefully acknowledged the following for permission to reprint photos which appear in this book. And I think that is absolutely fabulous. And I did use some of the pages. Um, this is a great book. And maybe, you know, um, it'll inspire someone to go out and get this book and read it. Okay, I am going to start. Like I said, this is fabric, and I decoupaged it. I think it actually has three coats of, of Mod, Podge, Mod Podge, and also the inside. So let's get started. And I have little pockets and little places for you to, um, you know, make your notes and journal. And here is one. This one I did um, glue down, so you can't pull that one out. And I have places for you to journal. And then you can read some of this little, it's really amazing. This book goes, and I'll tell you more about the book in a little bit. I have put lots of hours into this book. Or journal, I should say, which it is a book. So I like to have lots of places for journaling. And I love watching the races, so it's, I do have other pictures of cars in it, but basically it's racing. And here is a reprint from one of the pictures in the book. And I have side slats that you can see, you can journal on that side. Hopefully you can see. And that's NASCAR 2000. And like I said, you can journal on each of those. What would be neat to, um, I did get to uh, go to one of the NASCAR races and I did save my ticket, putting them into the junk journal. Anyway, this is completely, well, some of the material from my original book I put in here. And look at this. And you can journal on the other side. I have lots of places for journaling. And I don't like the even pages. I mean, to each his own. 
I say, I watch other journaling uh, videos, but I never completely copy anyone. I like to come up with my own original. And I see some beautiful ideas out there. And I've made copies. And then here is um, another place to journal. And then you can read parts of the book. And then I use strips of um, fabric to hold those together because they are different size pages. Lots of these. I have so much fun making them. And look at that one. And then right here is, this is just Velcro. Look at that. It's just, you know, I, I if I had the time, I would work on junk journaling all the time. And then I put some of these pages in so you can journal. And what I do with some of the journals that I'm, you know, keeping for myself, if I get special cards in the mail or if somebody, um, sometimes somebody will send me a poem or a verse, I slide it into the junk journal and I keep one on my coffee table. Um, sometimes, you know, we get cards and stuff that we throw in the drawer and we're never going to look at. But when they're in your junk journal, and the one I keep on my coffee table is a hummingbird one that Pam from Pam's Treasures made me, and I absolutely treasure that. And uh, I have made Christmas ones, Victorian ones. And um, after this one, I am going to make uh, uh, more of uh, another, you know, Victorian flower one. I haven't decided for sure, but this normally i don't take this long in doing them but then you know i do a lot of auctions each week so and i just wasn't not happy with the way it was suggested for me to and i will never listen to anyone again um we each have our own style and i'm not knocking anyone's ideas we each have our own style and like i said a regular, I've made them with paper, with um, just fabric. You can sew them, you can punch the holes in and uh, sew the spine, but not with the decoupage. And there's a, it's a lot of blank pages. And then, like I said, I will be adding some more things to this book. I will leave some blank. Um, and then here we go over here. And see, I um, photocopied this. And it's uh, one down in New York. So this race started, um, I'll give you some dates in a little bit, but this was so much fun. And look at some, look at the old race cars. Oh my gosh, they are so different, so different. So, and I have some, um, so, some things that I am going to put in like um, figurines of some men, of Victorian. I put them somewhere. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, cause that, that's how they dressed in those days. I mean, this is really old. And you can use tape to hold your uh, pages together. 
just all sorts of ways. And see, I covered the bands. And then you can journal on that side. I hope this just inspires you to try your own ideas. Like I said, if you watch videos, that's fantastic. But put your own ideas. There is no right or wrong way to do these. Just be creative. Like I said, the only thing that I know is I talk about the spine when you do decoupage them. And this is the second second book I've decoupaged. You cannot, you have to use the bands with um, the decoupage. And I will show you a few of the things that I may be putting in. But I hope you like it. It's very different. And I've made a lot of cards, um, tabs, whatever you want to call them, that I will be putting in. These are just corners cut from envelopes. And you, can, you just slide those in. I'll show you. Let me get a page here. You can use all, you know, different designs. See, it just slides in on the corner. You can decorate it, you can do whatever. There's so many fun ways of um, doing this. And I have bought um, quite a bit of this from Amazon. There's, um, American Racing 1000 and just a lot of neat papers that help you if you don't want to create some of your own. And let me show you here. I think I got this book also from Amazon or eBay. Some of the racing um, paper. Because, you know, in a racing book, you don't want feminine things. You don't want to put flowers in feminine. And like I said, I, I actually, I'm not into sports, but I love uh, NASCAR. I love watching the races. Oh, here's what I was talking about. This is the way, you know, when racing first started, believe it or not, this is the way uh, some of the men dressed. I couldn't find any like with <clears throat> a racing clothes, but in those days, and I'll show you in the book, but here is, you know, some of the, Let's see, I made this one. You can just slide your cards in to journal. Here is another one. Love this paper. So appropriate. Like I said, you, you don't want to use uh, flowers or anything feminine. Not that women don't love racing, but, you know. And these are cool. These are just plain cards. NASCAR. And let's see, what else? Okay, here's envelopes. All you do is cut that corner. Where is my scissors? I won't, I won't measure, just show you. I'm sure you've seen this before anyway. To see how simple that is. And just slide it. And there is a place for you to insert a card. And let's see. 
And yes, I cut up old books. I know some people frown upon that. But these are easy to cut. There's millions of, uh, well, I should say hundreds of videos out there. That'll show you. But here's some pictures of cars. Anyway, I have a lot of supplies. So I will be adding more to that book. I'm not going to add any more pages. I think that is sufficient. But I will be adding more um, cards and a few more, you know, decorations. But no more pages. I think that is sufficient. Okay, this book, uh, Race of the Century. Let's see, when was it? Hmm. When was this written? Well, some of the photos were from 1909, 1908, 1909. It was copyrighted in uh, 2005, but it goes all the way back. And this inspired me to um, to put, uh, you know, to do this book. I think it's just uh, absolutely amazing. Let's see if I can. Show you some pictures. This is chapter 11, but look at some of the, I don't know if you can see that, some of the old race cars. Nothing like what we have today. And here is another one. But this is, okay, the Herarch's true story of 1908. New York to Paris auto race. And so, and I was thrilled. Um, I would not have reprinted those pictures um, without that in the book, but it gives you permission. So I am just thrilled. So I hope you like this and let me raise my camera. I hope it inspires you to use your imagination. <clears throat> Again, there is no right or wrong way. Whatever is easier for you. The only thing I say, you can't sew a uh, cover that's decoupage. Other than that, you know, you can do what you want. You can glue the spine, you can sew the spine. Um, I use the bands for the decoupage one and you can find these on um, Amazon. I'm sure probably in any of the craft stores too. So hope you enjoyed, uh, leave your comment. Remember, I appreciate uh, constructive criticism. Uh, negativity, I remove and block the person from putting the negative remark in. So um, enjoy, bye, and see you later.